Welcome back to Nuffy Cat. We're so glad that you can join us today. In today's video, it is a continuation from yesterday's and that we're going to continue to talk about fur patterns. We were talking about like fur types yesterday with long hair, short hair, curly hair or no hair. Well, today will be fun to talk about fur patterns. And that has to deal with the colors in their fur, the different markings and patterns that they make. And I find it quite interesting. I've got six main areas here that I've learned about. Base paws Com. They have a blog that has a really cool article in it. And I'm going to list a link to that article down in the description so you can see it. Well, now let's start with the same type of kitty that he is. His fur is called Tabby. And that's that beautiful striped fur. Look at this. So he's called a specifically a mackerel Tabby. So look at the fur here on his side and look how it's got the vertical stripes on it and you see some markings here on his face as well look at that isn't that cute yes and on the side of his face on his paws on his tail yes notice also the stripes around his eyes and how amazing that is remember that he's half tabby and half russian blue which fits into the second category of solid fur patterns so those are the ones that are all one color I used to have a kitty named Blackie that we had many, many years ago that was absolutely jet black. And then there's a bicolor. So bicolors have two different colors to them. Years ago, we had a kitty named Oreo who fit this category perfectly. He was black and white, literally. And he had, he was like a white kitty with black patches or black spots. It kind of reminded me of a pinto horse. But he loved, uh, he was the most, one of the most sweet kitties that we had in childhood. I remember him being an absolute gem. There's also a tricolor. Uh, my kitty Kira falls into that category when I had her because she had three colors. She had gray, white, and orange on her. You can have black, white, and orange too. And a lot of times these types of kitty are mixed breeds. Kira was called a pale, a pale calico. And they're really, really beautiful. She was just so beautiful. Okay, a fifth type of kitty I have had also. Uh, her name was Pepper, and she was a tortoiseshell. So a lot of times they're a black and orange mix. They're mostly female kitties, and she fit right into that. But, oh, her patterning was so beautiful. They, a lot of times it's very intricate and very beautiful. She was part Siamese, and I don't remember the other breed. And then there's a color point. And a color point that I used to have, that's like the Siamese types of breeds. Sheba, my kitty, was a color point. She was called a seal point. She had a very dark, um, a very dark nosy, very dark tail, very dark paws. And then they have lighter colors in their fur. She used to have a little pretty spot I used to call the little sunrise that had a little kind of a yellowish spot in the midst of her beautiful color. And on an interesting note I used to notice with her is that she got darker, darker as she got older. She had started out a little bit lighter than as she aged. It was like her fur grew darker and darker instead of graying. Her fur grew darker. Well, thank you all so very much. I'm very happy to share all this with you. If you like the content of our videos, don't forget to take those paws and paw that like button. And while we paw the like button, you can see the stripes on his legs. Yes. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> you can press the subscription button. You can press the notification bells where you can see all of Nuffy Cat's videos. Well, thank you all so much for sharing this time with us today and for learning about types of cat's fur. And I hope that you enjoyed it too. Thank you all so very much. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video.